Hi guys. A few of you guys have been asking me to take a run through Content Manager and show you how to use it. So I thought I'd take this opportunity early in the year to run through that now. I'll only be covering the light version and just some basics to get you up and running. But hopefully this gets you enough knowledge to start racing in Assetto Corsa. But before we get started, what exactly is Content Manager? Content Manager is a launcher for Assetto Corsa. What that means is that you deal with the game settings and the content within Content Manager rather than loading up Assetto Corsa from Steam or whatever other launcher you use. Content Manager is a good way to simplify the installation process of mods. And we all know there's a menagerie of mods available for Assetto Corsa. So you want to try and make that process as easy as possible. I personally like it a lot. I think it's a great way to be launching your game and getting into the action in AC very quickly. Previous me went through the installation process for Content Manager. So let's head on over to that guy for a second and see how to do it. We start by going to the Content Manager website. Pretty much have to scroll to the bottom of the page to find the download link and click on the download light version. I just did it directly from their website. That will download. When you open it up, you will find two files and drag those to a folder you're comfortable with opening software in. Double click Content Manager and then click More Info and Run Anyway. It's a download from the internet, so you do so at your own risk. When you first load up Content Manager, you'll be presented with a few basic details on the screen, like the installation path for the game, your Steam ID, and some add-ons that you might want to install along with Content Manager. One plugin that I think you really should start with is 7-Zip. It allows you to unpack some of those mods that you might want to install uh, when they are using RAR or 7-Zip extensions. Once installed, you might be prompted to update Content Manager. That's a fairly simple process. If it does ask you, head on over to the burger menu and from there you'll be able to see the update screen. So with all that boring stuff out of the way, let's get to installing some great content. We know that Assetic also has some of the most varied mods out there. So we want to have as many as we can of those installed in our local environment so we can play them all, why not? This is where Content Manager really comes into its own. You can download the content, you can actually supply a direct link to that content, or you can download it from the websites like um, Race Department. Now after downloading this content, you can just drag and drop it straight into Content Manager. It won't install it straight away. You have to head on over to that burger menu again in the top right hand side of the screen and from there when you click the burger menu you should see at the bottom of that new menu that's popped up the items that you want to install just tick the check boxes click install and you're good to go there's no need to reload content manager all of that new goodness will be available to you so we have these great tracks and amazing cars installed in a set of Corsa, but we don't have our control set up. How do we do that in Content Manager? So if we head over to settings, a set of Corsa controls, that section of Content Manager is where you can find how to set up your controls. You can set your axes for steering and for your throttle brakes your gears, whatever else you want to set up. Or if you don't have a wheel, you can set up your joypad or your keyboard and mouse to race with. So we've got our controller set up. We've got our cars installed. Now let's just have a quick look at fine tuning the video. <laughs> so video settings can be found under settings, a set of Corsa and video. From here, you can set your rendering mode, which is quite important if you're using VR, along with some of the other visual elements like quality, flat screen resolution, and refresh rate. 
So I know there's been a little bit of confusion from a few people where they want to go into Steam and load up a set of calls after running Steam VR. You don't need to do that when you're using Content Manager. Just load up Content Manager, go to the video settings that we've just described, and then set your rendering mode to Open VR. If you're using an Oculus Rift, of course, you want to use Oculus Rift, and that doesn't go through the Steam VR process. Things like resolution when you're using one of these rendering modes, that only affects your pancake, your flat screen resolution for the mirrored display. But you might get some performance improvements by dropping that down. Some of the other settings, they make a big difference when it comes to the performance of your VR. So checking things like mirror resolution makes a huge difference. But I've detailed a lot of that in what I use for Steam VR, and you can find it in this video above. One thing to note when you're using the custom shader mod is that sun rays can be glorious and also terrible depending on what time of day it is. Sometimes they render you almost completely blind. So if you're having that problem, the easiest way to get around that is to go into this video tab and then under post-processing disable sun rays. It does affect the visuals a little bit. It takes away some of those really pretty effects, but it renders the game playable. So I think there's a reasonable trade-off. Now we've got all of those settings out of the way. Let's go race. We go onto the drive tab and then onto single player. Now, of course, if you want to do online play, go to online, but let's first have a look at single player. You can, from here, click the car or the track and select any of those that you've got installed. You can also adjust things like the time of day, the weather, the track conditions, what kind of wind you have, and also the temperature. Then you have the option to change some of your session settings. For example, how many cars you want to race against in a single race event. The different options available to you for racing. You've got practice, you've got hot lapping, time attack, racing, you have a race weekend, you have a track day, you also have drift and drag modes. Once you're happy with the settings you have applied, you click that big old green go button in the bottom right hand of your screen, and then a set of course will be fired up from Content Manager. If you've selected Open VR, or Oculus Rift at this point, your headset will fire up into life and you will be racing from your headset. So put that on. After you finish racing and you close down a set of Corsa, and I think this is the same in multiplayer, you see a finishing order screen. So it essentially tells you your sessions finished along with the finishing order of the drivers and whoever had fastest lap. I think you have a few other bits and bobs there too. Multiplayer isn't much different to single player. Instead of clicking on single under the drive tab, you click on online. You have to pay special attention to the filters you have selected. Make sure you're on the Kunos servers or LAN if you're wanting to play against your friends locally and have a LAN server set up. And then pay attention to the filters that you have crossed out. So anything with a red cross in it will not be shown in the server listings that you have. So if you haven't yet installed certain content, that question mark with a cross through it, that's going to stop you from seeing the servers that might be available. I've only really scratched the surface here on what Content Manager can do, but hopefully this video gives you a glimpse into what you can achieve with Content Manager with just some rudimentary knowledge. The launcher is fantastic for getting those mods installed. It gives you that central place to look at your content, to look at your replays, to manage your settings, enable profiles, and just get going with a set of Corsa. And those features aren't available from within the game itself, not all in one place. We all know AC is full of little bits and bobs that you can race with or race on. And it's a good idea to be able to manage that from and install that in one place without having to drag and drop files into various different folders and knowing the folder structures off by heart. 
So hopefully you'll give Content Manager a try. If you have already, you've got it installed and you're up and running, let me know. Drop a comment in the comments section below and we can have a chat about how you're getting on. So that's it from me today. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of content. And until next time, goodbye for now, guys.